Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I want to tell you that I finally got the electrical problem solved in my RV. What it was, was when I was on shore power, or plugged in to 30 amp, uh, the car battery and the RV battery, the uh, living area battery, uh, were not charging, okay? Uh, and I couldn't figure out why. But what it was, I added a new AGM battery uh, to this compartment over here, under that step, is my house battery, I guess you'd say. And uh, now it's a 105 amp hour AGM battery, and I don't have to maintain it. But you can see this thing just, it, it's going back and forth between 12.5 and 12.7. Uh, go to 12.7 thing. Uh, go to 12.7 thing. Well, it was. Well, anyway, it, it was on 12.2. It's gone up to 12.5. But anyway, it's charging there. And that's just a little old thing I plug into the cigarette lighter sometimes to monitor the battery on the vehicle. But anyway, it was it was down to 11.8. But anyway, so now we got it going. And then up here, my battery monitor for the AGM, you know, you press this little button right here. And bing, all four lights. Charging, okay? And then over here, ta-da, I'll show you what it was. Ah, for those of you that have an RV, those of you that have that, these uh, fuse panels that have this on it, the WFCO, that's a very common panel. You, know, you just press it up here at the top, and this door, this, I say this door comes open like this. And, and this, this is the house. Uh, this is all the uh, uh, 110 stuff right here, all those little breakers. That's all for 110. And then over here, this is all for your 12 volt. And then, of course, the, the, there's two 40 amp de deals there for your converter. And... Uh, the bottom one, the bottom 40 amp deal right there was blown, okay? And the great thing about this little fuse box is, and it's really handy, is that if there's a fuse blown on this panel right here, there's a red light that comes on right there, okay? And also, of course, if on this side over here, the 110 side, if, uh, if, you, if you overload it or something, it'll kick that breaker off, okay? And then you just reset it, okay? But anyway, what's good about it is when you close this, you can still monitor your 12 volt side because if there's a, a fuse blown, you can, you, you can glance at that little window right there and see if there's a fuse blown because there'll be a red light on and you just open this little door and go in there and replace that little fuse, okay? So, but this one, this one down in here did not have, does not have a red light for the 40 amp and that's the inverter, converter, whatever you want to call it. But over here, so you can see it's got all those labels. It says, you know, like this is the main 30 amp breaker and then it's got the AC breaker. And then it shows the uh, microwave, GFCI, uh, RE, I don't know what that, RECE, whatever that is. And then converter. Anyway, these are all labeled, which is very helpful. Then over here, uh, those aren't labeled. You could label them yourself. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, it was the 40 amp breaker that these two right here control the converter inverter. And uh, anyway, here's the 12 volt guide over here. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link to uh, you hear that fan. There's actually a little fan motor in there and it's a variable motor depending on how much air it needs to blow. So if you hear that noise, that fan noise, that's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes it'll do it every time you plug in. Uh, to shore power. That'll cut on for a few minutes. But anyway, it's like a computer fan. But anyway, guys, so oh, problem solved, baby. Problem solved. I'm going to leave a link to the uh, uh, the electrical video that I saw that led me to that resolution, that 40 amp breaker. But yeah, isn't this wonderful? See, when it's not charging... Uh, whenever the shore power con inverter connection is not charging the battery, the house battery, so to speak, whenever you press this battery button, it'll go up to two or three lights because it's not charging and the battery's being drained. But whenever you're plugged up to shore power and it is putting, putting power into the battery, it'll show all four lights all the way across like it is now. So we're good to go with that, and that's all I wanted to say. And whoever that guy was that did that video of this little box right here, if I can find that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description because it's a wonderful video, very helpful for those of you and me 
that are not electrical experts on RVs, but yeah, he explains it very clearly how the whole electrical system works, and I even understand more now than I did before. Of course, I haven't had a lot of electrical problems, and that's how you learn. But anyway, guys, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, stay, stay positive, guys. Adios, amigos, bye bye. Ding.